Hey guys, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Olivia and I'm a cinematographer and video editor and today I'm going to give you a quick start guide to the Canon EOS R6. I'd actually planned to include this in my original video for the R6, but I ran into some technical difficulties and so I am making a separate video instead. <laughs> if you want to see an overview of the R6 and hear some of my personal thoughts on how it works, you can see that video here or I will link it in the description below. But in this video, I just want to go over some of the key functions and show you how to get the camera up and running quickly. So I'll start by going through the different modes available when shooting photos. The A plus setting is a completely automatic mode where everything will be controlled for you. So the camera will analyze the scene and adjust everything for you. FV stands for flexible value and basically means you could set your ISO, aperture, or shutter manually and combine that setting with one of the other modes. It basically gives you a little more flexibility than completely auto mode. P stands for program and will automatically set your shutter speed and aperture. TV is your shutter priority mode, which means you will set the shutter speed you want and the camera will automatically set your aperture and it will basically try to properly expose your subject based on your environment. AV is your aperture priority mode, which means you will set your aperture and the camera will automatically set your shutter speed to properly expose your image based on your environment. M is your manual mode, which means you can change all of the settings to exactly what you want. B is the mode for night scenes, and it basically holds your shutter open for as long as you hold down the shutter button. Now I'm going to show you manual mode and how you can change each value. So you switch the dial to M, and you'll turn the camera on by the on and off button here. And I like to use the LCD screen, so I'm going to bring that up. And so what you'll see here, usually when you turn the camera on, is whatever it is that you are currently looking at or pointing the camera towards, you'll see the scene. If you want, you can bring up this menu here, which allows you to see most of the settings that are going on in your image. And it will tell you how you can adjust your shutter speed, your ISO, and your aperture. So you see here, this is your shutter speed, this is your aperture, and this is your ISO. And you can adjust the ISO by rolling this dial on the back end of the camera. You can change your aperture, or I'm sorry, your shutter speed by using the dial up top. You can make it lower or higher. And your aperture is actually the wheel behind the camera, which I can show you in a moment. And that allows you to turn and change it here. So again, you have your shutter, your aperture, and your ISO. ISO is changed with the wheel in the back. Shutter is changed with the wheel at the top of the camera. And the wheel behind the camera adjusts your aperture. And hopefully you can see <laughs> some of the changes that are happening on the LCD screen. So that's me making the aperture really dark and you can change the aperture really bright. And when you're ready to take a picture, you can just press the shutter button, which is right here. Now I wanna go through some basic video settings. So to get to video mode, you will just go back up to this dial and you will turn it to the little film looking <laughs> icon, film camera. And now you're in video mode and you can change your aperture, shutter speed, and ISO in the same way uh, when you're in photo. So you have ISO back here, your shutter speed up here, and your aperture is the wheel behind the camera. If you wanna see more of your video settings, you will press this little Q at the top and it will open up the menu so that you can see everything else. So you'll see that you're filming in manual mode or you could film in auto mode for, for video. I'm, gonna, I'm showing you manual, so. And then you can also see what autofocus setting you're using. I prefer to use this one, which is the eye. It kind of like uses um, your subject's eye as its po focal point to keep in focus. You can select your resolution, uh, which can, in this camera, you can go all the way up to 4K at 60 frames per second. 
but right now I have it set at 23 uh, frames per second at 1080p. You can also adjust your audio settings. Um, well, this is the audio in camera, and if you happen to have a shotgun microphone on top, you can also adjust the levels here. Then you have your digital image stabilization. You can turn that on or off. Your white balance settings, which you can change to anything that you like or use auto. Your picture profiles, which you can do neutral, standard, auto, anything here. And your lighting optimization. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe and follow me on all of my social channels. And I will catch you in the next video.